to part two of the watercolor tutorial by CETA and um, as we said we're doing two different techniques in watercolor and today we are going to use these amazing Lyra Aqua Brush Duo pens I suppose you would call them. They're really amazing they have a brush tip on the one side and a fine pen tip on the other side. So these um, duo brushes are water based but in my experience um, the best way to use them for watercolors is not direct. The, 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 the nib base makes a very good outlining and the brush base gives wonderful color but it's very intense and very dark and not really possible to move it around. So by some lucky chance I discovered this wonderful technique which I'd like to share with you today. So we're going to use the Lyra Duo brush, the Lyra brush duo and we're going to use once again the Pentel Aqua brush and what you're going to need is a small ceramic glazed saucer, small plate. It's quite handy to have a little plate that's got a raised side and we're going to use this to transfer the ink onto the brush. Also you will need once again a piece of kitchen towel or tissue for dabbing a brush. So let's get started. What we're going to do is uh, we, I'm going to show you how I've done this the mantle um, of Athena and I'm going to work on the piece that we did with the first technique with the, the Lyra Aquarel pencils. So we're just going to continue on this now and we're going to do this section. So what you need to do is you need to take your little plate and the base color for all of this is a light pink. So here we go. Take the, the brush tip of your, your pen and rub it on the side of your plate. You can also rub the tip, but that could damage the tip in my opinion. So rub it on the side of your plate and as you can see, you're getting all the color. It comes off absolutely beautifully. It sits on top of the, the ceramic glaze and it gives you instant ink to use. Then once again, give your little brush a squeeze, make sure it's clean, wipe it off and pick up your ink. It comes up really beautifully and you can lay it down directly. So this bypasses the step that you have to do with the pencil. Now here we've got quite a bit of water, so if you remember just give it a dab, wipe your brush off a bit, come back to your ink and spread it. So we're putting a very light layer because we're going to shade it. We just want to cover actually the whole area with pink. Be sure to pick it up nicely. It spreads very beautifully. You can get into all your areas and because it's mixed with the water there is an intensity and a lightness. So as you spread it you can lighten it up. So there we go, that side's done. Um, you might need to come back and just add on a bit more. It's a very light colour so you probably have to pick up a fair amount. Let's do the other side. Slight strokes downwards. If you do let a lot of colour sit, it will suck onto the page. But when you come over again with the next layer, you can fill it in and smooth it out very, very easily. Oopsie daisy. Picking it up. Squeeze the brush a little bit to make, make some more water come through it. And you can spread that ink all over. So just a bit more. And that's that. 
Now the top of the mantle I also did with the light pink to start. There we go. And let's just go in there, starting in the darker areas because we want the top to be quite light. Just working into here. Very nicely, just filling that area. And then the other side, this should be sufficient. Give your brush a little dab every now and again. Oops, a little bit too much water. There we go, it's off. And let's just put this here. If you have too much water on your brush, you can just dab it on the paper and then just go back to your work. You will have plenty of colour on the page still. There we go. So that's all nice and light. All done with our light pink, that's our base coat. I can see here that it is a bit watery, so I'll just touch it with that. Now, when you apply your next colour to your ceramic plate, give it a good wipe first because you don't want to blend your colours. There we go. So, we're going to start with the lower part of the mantle, and for the shading of that, um, I'm going to use a purple and once again I'm going to wipe it on the plate. Look how beautiful this is. Lots and lots of good strong colour comes off. You can also use the other side if you like but as you can see there's much less ink going to be available to you there and you could also damage the tip of the pen. So, now we want to bring into all our dark areas where there's a lot of grayscale, we want to bring in the purple. Now this is very dark color, so make sure to move quite quickly over your areas. You don't want the color to soak in. Once you've spread it into your darker sections, you can then use the excess that's on the brush to tone in your areas. Making sure to wipe off the excess ink. Here it's nice and dark. Just shading into your dark spaces. You'll see when this dries, the pink will still be quite pink. I mean, when the water, where there's a lot of water in the colour, it, uh, it evaporates basically and uh, the pigment lightens nicely. So just go very carefully into your little dark areas, come down, and then just spread the water. Over. Here we have another dark section, a bit of shading there. Here we just want to come into this little area, just a bit more. We'll come back again with some more pink, but for now I think that's as good as done. Just bring, make this as dark as we can. There's a lot of water here already. And move on to the other side. 
So I start always with the darkest area when I'm working with a dark color so that if I do have a lot of color on my brush it's in the right place and it's not going to affect the overall look in the end. You've got to get used to um, working very very lightly with these pens. You don't have to push down with the brushes, sorry. You don't have to push down very hard on the page to actually move the colour around. And also if you do press a bit too hard then you're going to get a lot of water coming out. So it's very very light the action of applying. You can see I haven't had to put any more pigment onto my plate. This uh, very, very strong pigment and it goes a very long way. And it's very easy just to dab the, the brush onto the ink and come back to your work. It's a pleasure. I was so excited to uh, discover this way of using these pens because they are really, uh, really brilliant colours and um, I, I have used them a lot just um, as pens and sort of as markers and they have stunning colours but to be able to transfer that into the watercolour is uh, a bonus. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm sure that um, you use so little ink this way that they'll last a very long time. You could also, if you wanted to, you could blend the colours on your plate. You could put a few colours and you could mix them as you go along. I think that's sufficient for the hair for now. I'm going <coughs> to move on to the top of the mantle and I'm going to use a different colour. So I'm going to just wipe off my brush and on the other side of my plate I'm going to put this very bright cerise. Look at that, that's a lovely colour, lots of it. And I'm going to work into the top. I'll come back and put some more pink in there. So, let's get that ready. Picking up nice lots of colour and working in first into the dark area because I've got quite a lot of colour on here and I want that colour to be in the dark section. A lot of grey scale there, not very much place for the water to go, so just a quick dab and um, that's all sorted out. Just spreading the colour inwards. Coming in darker here. So a little bit underneath here. Just grading the colour up lightly. There we go. We could come in and darken this here slightly. We don't want to put too much water on this at the moment, so let's move on to the other side. Again, in the dark areas first, because you're going to have a lot of pigment on your brush. And then spread it out nicely.
just braiding it so that it has that lightness on the tips. And we can put a touch more in. Let's um, just quickly come back again with the light pink, which again, I'll just put again on this side of my plate. You see, you could actually mix your colors quite nicely on your plate, if um, that's what you'd like to do. But let's just come and give this pink a bit of a lift. With the lighter colours, you will need a lot more of the ink on the plate, but it's manageable. Just coming into wherever I feel the pink is very, very light. Just And there we are. I think that is, is done. Now once again, um, let me just show you something that I could do here directly now with the pen. If you want to bring even more darker shadows into your work, you can use the pen to, to come in shade further to give more intensity in the darker spaces. You know, there's many different things you can do in order to work with the pens as well. And um, they do move slightly if you now come over this with the brush, but it's not ideal. Just shading these dark areas slightly. Just giving it a bit more definition. And similarly with the purple, you could do the same. But I would say that um, we're done. So this is the Lyra Aqua Brush Duo and the Magic Bowl technique. So I hope you have lots of fun with it. Um, and Again, we will have all the stages of this completed picture um, with photographs and um, descriptions um, on the Facebook page. So take a look and have fun colouring your Athena. Thanks. <laughs>